Puyallup School District voters will soon have an important decision to make regarding the condition and future of schools and facilities in our district. Voters will be asked to consider a capital levy on the February 13th special election ballot. This short video will provide information on why the capital levy is needed, what it would fund, highlights of some of the projects that will be completed, and tax information. Proposition 1 is a six-year, $175 million capital levy to restore, improve, and replace aging infrastructure and systems as part of 906 projects in schools and facilities across the district that are not funded by the state. With a dwindling capital projects budget that is set to run out of funds in 2026, these funds are needed to address critically deficient buildings and systems in order to provide our students and staff with safe, secure, and quality teaching and learning spaces. Without the capital levy funding, resources would need to be diverted from teaching and learning to address the most critical projects impacting safety and security. Schools and buildings would also continue to deteriorate. If approved, the capital levy would fund 906 aging infrastructure and system projects in critical need of restoration, improvement, and replacement. 45% of the levy would go toward building improvements, Aging and degraded roofs will be repaired and replaced to address water leakage and other deficiencies. Aging and failing heating, cooling, and ventilation systems would be repaired or replaced to improve air quality, comfort, system efficiency, and support compliance with the Clean Buildings Act. Portable classrooms would be repaired and improved to ensure safe and efficient learning environments for students. 18% of the capital levy would be used on educational technology and internet access improvements to help schools stay current with changing technology. This ensures reliable connectivity with modern educational tools to enhance teaching and learning in the classroom. 16% of the capital levy would fund school site improvements to ensure safe access to schools and facilities. Dirt and rock pathways at schools that are prone to puddling and mud would be replaced with asphalt walkways for year-round use. School parking lots and traffic flow improvements would also be addressed to increase safety and decrease congestion during student drop-offs and pickups. And field drainage would be improved to help keep fields safe and usable throughout the year. 11% of the levy would fund improvements to the outdoor learning spaces that support student activities, play, social learning, and athletics. Replacing old playground equipment and wood chip infill with new equipment and rubber tiles ensures safe and inclusive social learning and play for all ages and abilities. Replacing dirt and clay tracks that are prone to ponding, puddling, and mud with all weather tracks supports safe year-round use for students in PE and athletics. And lastly, 10% of the capital levy would fund safety and security system improvements. Outdated security and life safety systems would be replaced with modern and effective systems to protect students, staff, and property. If approved, the capital levy would cost approximately 87 cents per $1,000 of assessed property value. This would be an estimated increase of $36.25 per month for a home assessed at $500,000. This will bring the total school tax rate to a level comparable to our historical average and that of our neighboring districts. Additional capital levy information can be found on our website at www.puwallopsd.org levy. And don't forget to vote by February 13th.